If you are watching this video, the chances are that you are a, either a parent of a child who is interested to pursue a career in architecture fashion design and you are evaluating how DQ Labs can help your child uh, be prepared for these entrance exams. Or you might be a faculty or a founder of a design architecture or a fashion school trying to understand how this, this, this DQ Labs is helping create such powerful, wonderful um, material or students for getting into these uh, design schools. Or you might be a competitor who is wondering what different things we are doing and how come we are getting more results than your institute. Which are, may be the case, welcome to this uh, video. I am going to explain you the teaching process that we adopt at DQ Labs. For you to understand this, you need to understand primarily who we are. So DQ Labs process, teaching process is a result of our 40 odd man years of combined experience in the field of design by the founders of DQ Labs, uh, myself Umesh Kumar and my partner Sean Deesa, we were classmates in IIT Delhi and we share the same passion of mentoring students, guiding students, right? So we both have studied together in IIT Masters of Design. We have ourselves cracked these kind of entrance exams to getting into premier institutes and we have studied in the best universities and we have been toppers in our respective studies and also worked in best global design studios ourselves. So you got to understand that uh, it is very tough to get into a good global design studio. So Sean has worked with General Motors, I had worked with General Motors, Hyundai Kia Motors, and Jaguar Land Rover and these are the best design studios in the world and it is very difficult to get into that and work in such an environment. So having that kind of an experience gives us a lot of, of uh, experience, confidence, connects to further guide the students and DQ Labs is our passion and our profession. We have created this organization to provide quality guidance and mentoring to the students. It is very important for you to understand who has founded the company because those values are percolated into everything that they do. The second thing I would want you to understand is the nature of these exams. These exams are creative and subjective in nature. What does it mean? is in these exams 1 plus 1 is not equal to 2 right so these are subjective exams okay and there is no specific defined syllabus the test pattern is not predictable in fact every year the design schools architecture schools and the fashion schools are tweaking the way they organize this test essentially to identify the right talent okay so because these are creative exams you cannot have a set pattern and expect uh, the students to just wrote memorize everything come there and just cough up everything and get good marks no the test pattern is not predictable most importantly the questions are not repeated so just by going through past year papers expecting same questions similar questions it's not possible okay and there is a factor of subjective evaluation which means that if I give a work, if I have to evaluate a student works against certain parameters and I share these parameters across three or four different evaluators and they evaluate the same work, you will be surprised to see that the marks they award will be different, they will not be same. So what does that mean? Even if there is a difference of 0.1 marks in the evaluation, it offsets the ranking, the final ranking by at least 20-30 ranks, alright. So this is a subjective evaluation exam and most importantly the 11th and 12th subjects are not asked or tested in the context of design and fashion exams. Of course for architecture they ask math, physics and chemistry to a certain percent 
but for design and fashion interest exams the 11th and 12th subjects doesn't matter and in case if you want to have a look at the past year papers i would strongly recommend you to go to the, these bitly links and understand the past year papers in fact we have a separate video on uh, dissecting and analyzing the past year papers you can go through that as well so what is our approach our approach is to make the students that join us a design superhero all right and our approach is a 360 degree preparation approach what we do first is improve the left brain and right brain capacities of the students and in fact certain skills based on the left brain and right brain are actually asked in the exam as you notice here questions related to logical reasoning analytical mensuration geometry problem solving sequence find the odd one out all these are related to the left brain and the right brain related questions are design sensitivity observation design thinking spatial ability design sketching and visualization so our first priority is to ensure that the left brain and the right brain of the student is developed very well and then we look into the certain aptitudes and attitudes skills behaviors mindset right which would help them develop as a overall personality the objective here is to ensure that no matter what kind of a question or a testing pattern is introduced to the child he or she will be confidently be able to crack it very easily so that is our approach now how do we organize that is through structured sessions we have design sketching classes theory sessions for aptitude development round two preparation this is only for design and fashion exam preparation apart from this we also have professional e meets school e meets for college selection guidance and also live projects in addition to all the above structured sessions we also organize master classes these master classes are taken by professionals who are who have special expertise in specific domains or specific skills so these master classes are like the icing on the cake to help prepare students develop the necessary skills these professionals have got i'll quickly go through these to help you understand what are the objectives of organizing all of these for the design sketching classes our objective is to enable the ability to draw whatever a student visualizes in their mind drawing from memory drawing from visualization creative thinking and design problem solving and also conceptualizing new ideas and representing them so design sketching is a visual means of communicating their ideas whatever they conceive they should be able to represent on a two dimensional paper and that is what the classes are driven to achieve this objective for design sketching classes for aptitude and theory sessions we touch upon various areas where their aptitude is developed like creative aptitude logical mental aptitude visual spatial ability mechanical aptitude quantitative verbal general awareness about their specific profession and the field analytical and much more and these are organized through means of theory sessions in the round 2 preparation we are focusing on material handling how a student when given a series of materials and a topic how he is able to manipulate the material to create meaningful work we will be working on their observation skills audio and video testing skills doodling skills inter interpersonality skills and we also have group discussions interview preparation tips and sessions and we also do portfolio guidance for indian colleges so all that comes as the round 2 preparation of course if a student is going for uh, abroad colleges applying for an abroad college the process of guidance is little different and we do it as a separate separate coursework altogether and then we also have this professional e meets 
the objective is to give awareness to the parents and also the students who are planning to go in this direction parents have many questions in terms of okay what this field is about how i can support my child to become successful in this field what kind of support i should be providing and from a student point of view what you will be doing during the coursework after the coursework what attitudes aptitudes and what skills you need to develop to become a successful designer or an architect or a fashion designer and these are learned by direct interaction with professionals design professionals and we do this every sunday and all our students participate in this along with the parents to understand and improve their awareness further on for the professional professional world okay then we also organize school emails this is extremely useful for students to select a school right so if they do not know what kind of school they are entering into how can they decide so what we do is we invite the schools to come and meet up with the parents and students and get exposed or give exposure about their curriculum their activities their campus their fees and other aspects to the parents and children the students so that they are aware of the facilities that are available in the schools and they can make a decision based on that and we also have live projects this is a great opportunity for students to implement all that they are learning in dq labs on live projects and we also award them reward them okay so of course all these awards and rewards come directly from the people who are hosting these live projects with dq labs and this this is something very exclusive for our dq lab students so we have the structured sessions through which we communicate or we develop the 360 degree approach learning in the student to make them a design superhero and we delivered this through a platform called as edge.dqlabs.in and this platform is powered through xamplay technology and xamplay is a award winning platform it has won nascoms design for india award and they have some super cool features which no other platform has got and we are using their technology to deliver this content and method to the students to accelerate their learning so let me go in depth of each of these when we say content it is not just some books or some material taken off the net taken multiple xeroxes and given no these are highly curated and visually documented content so that the student doesn't have to spend a lot of time in figuring out what to read and what not to read in a comprehensive visually documented method to our students not only that we also have these videos developed so that whenever a student has any doubts he can just go on to edge.dqlabs.in and also cross verify and self learn certain topics we have daily quizzes and tests which are structured to help a student learn by practicing these questions on a daily basis and yes we have extensive full length tests and predicted questions that we have developed for our students now you may be thinking okay this kind of a stuff is also given by other institutes but i would want you to check their material to understand and compare you know the to understand the quality of our material okay anyway so the most important thing is how we are very different is that we give personalized actionable insights and suggestions to the students and through them they can easily learn or attend to those topics which are very important and learn all the stuff within a very short duration of time 
and we also have this visually engaging matrix to help student understand how much he has covered and how much more is pending for him to cover they can actually go through each of the topics and understand their method of arriving at an answer choice like whether they have whether they have used a knowledge or they have used elimination process or a random choosing for answering a particular question and very interesting thing is all the creative work that they are doing they can upload on edge.dqlabs.in and they can create a learning port portfolio for themselves yes so all this beautiful content technology and our approach is delivered through both physical and online classes in fact we have been the pioneers in organizing online classes we used to deliver these online classes right from 2007 okay so we are we have built a platform to deliver these sessions in a very effective manner and very interesting thing is whatever work a student is doing it is all can be feeled and touched and seen by the parents themselves and they can also understand the progress of the child and more importantly we also have this parent teacher meeting that helps us a parent and student understand where they are going wrong or where how to improve and all that and it is quite evident that our method works beautifully with the kind of results our students are able to get consistently since 2007 every year the students are getting top ranks and they are getting into top institutes not just in india but all over the world so we have created so far 12000 plus design superheroes since 2007 and whatever base fundamentals we are giving into them is helping them extremely well and it is quite evident through the kind of opportunities they are able to land while in the college or while in the profession because what we are doing here is not just prepare for the competitive exam but we are building an overall personality aptitude attitudes behaviors in the child to make them do perform really well in their future so this is our teaching process and this helps your child take off their creative career very very powerfully thank you so much